having a public platform that is maximally trusted and, and broadly inclusive um, is extremely important to the future of civilization. Elon Musk just took over Twitter and everyone is freaking out. Why though? What might change? And what does Donald Trump have to do with this? What's up? I'm DJ Crystal Lake. You might know me from TikTok. If you do, comment below, TikTok family. Welcome to this video where I explain this Twitter situation. Get ready. Elon Musk struck a deal of $44 billion to buy Twitter, but his plans on changing the platform are scaring a lot of people. As the richest man in the world having a $279 billion fortune with over 84 million Twitter followers, he's been known for his controversial tweets. What do you think about these tweets? In 2018, he tweeted that he had funding to take Tesla private at $420 per share, which was a joke about weed. While a lot of us laughed at this, the Securities and Exchange Commission and his investors said, <laughs> and he was slapped with two separate fines for $20 million. The next year, he was in court again for the pedophile incident. Do you remember when a team of young schoolboys were trapped in an underwater cave? The boys, ranging in age from 11 to 16, had been feared dead. 12 boys and their soccer coach found alive. One of the rescuers was Vernon Unsworth, a diver who helped rescue the boys. Elon Musk sent supplies to help them as well, but Vernon labeled that as a publicity stunt with the belief that Elon Musk didn't really care. Elon Musk then called him the pedal guy in a tweet. Vernon moved to sue him for $190 million. Now back to his Twitter takeover. Elon Musk considers himself as a free speech absolutist. Really important that people have the, the reality and the perception that they are able to speak freely within the bounds of the law. Now, the thing about this is that hate speech, scams, and false information will rise if there are no strong rules, and governments don't always provide fair rules. He expressed that Twitter should be regulated only by the laws of the country it operates in. Think about how many white people were caught on camera saying the N-word with no fear because of freedom of speech. Nick. There should be a word like Nick. There are so many different people on social media platforms. So social media platforms have been pushed to do more to protect users from harmful content without having complete censorship or completely removing all information. For example, many sites removed or blurred parts of the Eric Gardner killing, or they may have left out dangerous and triggering words said by criminals during their attacks. Here are the changes that Elon Musk wants to bring. He proposed to ease content restrictions, eliminate fake and automated accounts, and shift away from Twitter's ad-based revenue model. Even a few celebrities responded, but before I tell you that, let's tackle the Trump question. What does Donald Trump have to do with this? And what did he say about his Twitter account? If you like what you're seeing so far, give me a like. It tells YouTube's algorithm to push this video and that helps me out a lot. Also subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Now back to the show. You've called women you don't like fat pigs and disgusting animals. What I say is what I say. Elon Musk mentioned that he is not a fan of permanent bans and he favors suspensions. Trump repeatedly praised his supporters who stormed the Capitol building and spread lies that the 2020 election had been stolen and Vice President Mike Pence had the power to change the results, which were already proven to be true. The election is rigged, remember that. During that time, Trump was also suspended from YouTube and Facebook. The reason why is because his lies were so powerful that people began believing it and actions such as hate crimes and misinformation about important topics like COVID, elections, real news, and justice had been on the rise. When Trump was banned from Twitter, he went on to do email press releases and planned to launch his own social media platform. We had to give the American people their voice back by building something called Truth, Truth Central. Truth Social. Yeah, the one he can't pronounce. That Twitter ban caused Donald Trump to tremendously lose his power in manipulating news through one tweet. Many people are worried that if he does go back on Twitter, 
He'll have a big impact over the midterms and the 2024 presidential election. Here's what he said. We interrupt this program to give you great news. My store is now having a sale. Find the link in the description or go to the website cutbycrystal.com slash shop. Thank you so much for everyone that has bought some merch. The black hat is going on fire right now. So make sure you get it while it lasts. Now back to the show. I probably wouldn't have any interest. You know, Twitter's become very boring. So far, Elon Musk hasn't spoken about reactivating Trump's Twitter. There are a few tweets from Elon Musk that I didn't show you, which might make you nervous about this takeover. We've seen the cute side of his Twitter, like how he reportedly met his ex-partner Grimes on Twitter. But there's also been times when he was slammed. People were upset when he said the coronavirus pandemic is dumb, and even compared Canada's prime minister to Hitler over the push on COVID-19 restrictions. And he spread false news about how it'll end by April. He also tweeted that pronouns suck which many people felt like was an attack on trans people. His then-girlfriend Grimes tweeted saying, I love you, but please turn off your phone or give me a call. I cannot support hate. Don't, don't, don't do it. To make this worse, he told his followers to take the red pill. This is a popular phrase used by white supremacists and anti-feminists to tell people to see the world through their eyes and join them. Zong. So how did the richest man in the world get Twitter to give him the thumbs up to take over this deal? It's probably exactly what you're thinking. At first, the Twitter board seemed like they were against Elon Musk's takeover. But then, Elon Musk offered a funding package for the deal and an additional $21 billion of his own money to hand over towards the debt Twitter had with financial institutions. Altogether, it would be around $44 billion. After that, the board unanimously approved the bill, which will now be presented to shareholders for a vote. But check this out. A few people are pointing out tech and billionaires' abilities to control platforms used by millions of people. They have the power to change the world through what we see and what we are told to believe in the media. Amnesty International said, the last thing we need is a Twitter that willfully turns a blind eye to violent and abusive speech against users. They also mentioned, especially those who are most impacted, including women, non-binary persons, and others. People who have large followings with devious intentions are popular for spreading misinformation and hate to the public. For example, Hitler, R. Kelly, Donald Trump, Bin Laden, and Pablo Escobar. Meaning freedom of speech does have its downfalls. Here are the celebrity responses. Jamila Jamil feels that the platform will become an even more bigoted, misogynistic space. Fox News host Tucker Carlson returned to Twitter after being suspended and criticized for hate speech. Tucker tweeted, we're back. There are also people like Caroline who said they'll stay on Twitter for now. She tweeted, we have no idea what it will look like under Elon Musk's leadership. And to be honest, we don't know. All we can do is hope for the best and hope that Elon is thinking of the outcomes for minorities and the wellness of people in general. Please give me a like and subscribe if this helped you. It tells the algorithm to push my video and it also lets me know if I should make more videos like this. And trust me, it helps me out a lot. The next episode will blow your mind, so hit that bell to be notified. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.